Oh my god, what's gonna happen with the propellers? I'm thinking they might go through it, but if they don't, what's gonna happen? All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to Ancient Warfare 3. You guys wanted to see more, and there was a pretty big update that happened recently that added some pretty cool stuff. But before we jump right into that, what we have here, my good friends, is it naval invasion? And you know that there's nothing I really like more than amphibious landings against hotly contested beaches. We got enemies with armor and they got bolt action rifles and this guy even has a rock to throw at the enemy. But in all seriousness, what we've got here is a secret weapon for red. So this beach is gonna be hotly contested, right? And in fact, we're gonna add a little bit of spice because you know, the spice makes everything nice, right? And um, to give the blue a little bit of extra defense, so the reds are going to have to adapt, and they have an aeroplane. Let me let me just kind of herp the derp der derp. Look at this. So this is amazing. I added a plane, and the cool thing about it is when you when you come in here, right? So you search plane AC-130. This plane will drop units over the selected location. How are they gonna drop? Parachutes, guys. Freaking parachutes. All right, so these guys are gonna be parachutes. So I'm thinking these AP 30 lightly armored. So how many seats do we have? One, two, we can carry 28 paratroopers, right? So let's go with, uh, let's go with 20 AP 30 lightly armored. Now we're gonna have sniper. Ally impro improvised sniper. We'll have two of those. So we're at 22 out of 28 units. We'll have one shot, we'll have a, uh, Two shotgunners, and now for machine guns, I want an MG42. There they are, Ally MG42. Uh, we'll have one of them. This is gonna be freaking glorious. And then we'll add three DMRs. Now I've gotta check. All right, where do I want to? I want the drop location to be right, like literally behind enemy lines here. So we're gonna select this point. Now this is cool. Okay, so Ravenfield add parachutes, right? And then Ancient Warfare adds parachutes, but they also add planes, and they allow you the ability to pick where they're dropped. I swear, both these games could learn a lot from each other, and if they could just hybridize themselves, they would make the most glorious sandbox battlefield type game of all time. And look at this. Here is our. AC-130 gunship. And it's actually not a gunship, it's a paratropper. <sighs> All right, guys, so we've got the plane. It's gonna come in and drop. I decided to add a few armored vehicles, and I'm actually curious, are these things amphibious? Because if they are, that's pretty glorious. But look at this. Look how freaking glorious these vehicles are. I added a few RPG units as well, because I realized most of these guys have bolt-action rifles. <laughs> and in fact, these guys might need a little, a little extra help here. So we're gonna add a few RPGs to the different things, because there are gonna be two, what, armored vehicles. Oh, wait. I think I need to implement the drop speed here. Drop, location. Let's go with a fast drop speed. You know, I mean, why not? We've got 20 units. The drop location is set. All right, baby, here we go. Come on, AC-130, or C-130, whatever. Drop the men out. Oh my God, it opens up in the back. Here they go. <laughs> that is freaking glorious. Oh my God. So they're kind of dropping low and slow, and in fact, Wow. Are any of them actually gonna land? Hold on. Hold the phone. This is not gonna end well. <laughs> this is actually the greatest catastrophe in airborne operations happened on, hold on, June the 4th, 2018, when a red commando unit forgot that the world is flat and they actually went off the end. So here we go. Look at this bad boy. Are you firing? Oh my god. Blue's pretty much been cleared off the beaches. Bolt action rifles. We got RPGs going off here. Check out the amphibious landing. So this is the World War One lay, um, and you can see how good. Now these things are gonna absolutely wreck these poor guys, and especially since they line up. See, like there just needs to be a little bit done for the AI, and I think so much can be done. So it looks like maybe one fifth of the squad is actually going to land. <laughs> and the rest are gonna go off the map. <laughs> this is hilarious. All right, landing behind enemy lines. We got SMGs. Come on, give the enemy what for Now they're armored though. Dude, they don't even know what's about to happen to them. Well, I guess they do, they just turn around. Oh wow, what happened to these guys? Were they shot? Oh my, they're stepping on landmines? 
Well, this was the greatest catastrophe maybe ever. Oh my gosh, look at this one. This one is called like Epic D-Day and it really, really looks epic. So these are basically the soldiers we just dropped out of the planes. If you look at their uh, material, their armament and their armor. We've got a bunch of them. These guys are facing the other guy like, Hey, Jimmy, we don't want to go to the beach. We want to go back to the Tiki Bar and have some Mai Tais. And apparently these are the Anzacs, and there is a freaking snowman and a Jedi in Santa Claus. So, seriously, creative... Oh, well, we don't even need any one of these boats. They're distractions. Okay. Uh, whatever. Uh, yeah. So, ooh, look, what are, are these medieval knights? What is going on with this? This is this is interesting. We, there's definitely some creative freedom. However, it's probably one of the biggest and most epic D-Day invasions that I've seen. So what we need to do here, now we need to rotate this baby around. I'm actually, let's see, are there two, there are two forts. Oh my God. Are those all red guys or is that corn? Oh, it's just a bunch of whatever. All right, so we're gonna have two and they're gonna, they're gonna drop in the fort, which is, this is not gonna go well. It's really not, but that's why we're doing it. <laughs> now we check this one. Now we need AP-40s. This is what we want, because these are... We're going to add 20 of these bad boys. They're going to have one MG-42, and by one I mean two, and then shotguns. No, wait. Or maybe like two shotgun, four shotguns and two RPGs. Pump shotgun lights. There we go. Now we gotta set the drop location. Now we learned our lesson, right? So if I start dropping here, most of them should, like, if they start dropping, and we'll have them drop medium speed or fast speed. Let's go with medium speed, I think. And I'm actually gonna, and then this one's gonna be fast. All right, so these guys are landing close quarters. We don't need RPGs. We just need powerful weapon because a lot of those guys are armored. We have proper intelligence. Oh yes, yeah, set the drop location. Drop location will start here, and it will be set to fast. Now we need some, just, we'll go with AP-4, wow, AP-45s, lightly armored, go with 20, and then shotguns, no RPGs needed here. All right, that should be good for both uh, pair droppers. Look at this, man. Now, if we start this operation, well, can I watch the camera go from here? We're gonna change the time of day slightly. All right. Oh my God, what, what is happening? This is a fail drop. Why? Did we change his location? I think we did. And look at this. There's a lot of lag, but this is a medium drop. Some of these guys might even land behind. We, we're having some frame rate issues. I think it's because we we chose a map with just way too many entities. One of these drops didn't work at all. They're actually gonna land in the water. Oh, the frames. I have the graphics set to fantastical and we have a ton, so it should come as no surprise that when we move there are slight issues with the frame rate. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna We're gonna look at this. Alright, and go. The paratroopers are dropping, baby. Oh, they're getting shot out of the air. Look at that. Look at me with the mouse clip. Oh. <laughs> this is funny. Who's this guy? A guy with his riot gear? Alright, oh. Oh wow, some of them are gonna land on the walls? Did these guys just not follow protocol? Or maybe where we started, where we... It must have been us, it must have been user error. These commandos, the crack team of commandos are landing all over the freaking hills. We're not gonna be able to get these guys back in time, I don't think. Oh my god, so many of them are getting wrecked. That was an absolute... What, and look, what you guys doing, hey? Hey? You know what, maybe I have to, uh... There we go. Oh, do they see me? Well, this D-Day, all right, we need a smaller D-Day for this to work, I think. This is fun, this is cool, but there's just way too many things going on. The tanks are borked, everything is borked. Wow, guys, this might be one of the best D-Days. It's small, but like, look at the level of detail of the map. And like, the trench network, we've even got some tanks. So that kind of looks like a more modern tank, which there needs to be World War II tanks in this game. He needs to open up Steam Workshop personally, but this should be perfect for our plane here. Okay, so yeah, I wish I could expand the map, and there, there's definitely ways to, but... Alright, let's see if this works. Maybe if I have the plane coming at this angle, he'll drop, right? We Yeah, here we go. Alright, check this out. Drop location, we're gonna have him drop... What's right in front of his nose? 
All right. We're going to have him start dropping, like, here. We'll have, um... I don't think they have armor. These guys are paratroopers, so they can only be light at the most. Let's just go with... We'll go with 22. And we'll get one MG42 here. And by one, I always mean two. And then shotguns. I always feel like ally pump shotguns light. Oh, 28 up. How can you do more? That seems a little... Oh, yeah, and we got to change it to fast. Fast drop speed. Excellent. I want to click to confirm. It seems a little off. There we go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, ooh, look at that. All right, now if you're red, what do you want to defend this, right? Whoa, look at this. I found a another helicopter. I think this one drops troops as well. We're actually going to have opposing troops. Hold on. Yes, it can drop 20 guys. All right, so red, their early warning radar, they're like, all right. The blue team is dropping, you know, airborne troops. So they're gonna react to this. This is gonna be glorious. And they're dropping their own team of Spetsnaz commandos. Now they're gonna drop now. I think the helicopter might drop all of them in the same spot. I'm actually really curious what's gonna happen here. This, this should be fun. All right, very, very fast drop. Oh my gosh. Okay, I was not expecting to find this. Now he comes at a, a, a much lower altitude. So, if we press play here, look at this. The helicopter's coming in. He's he's moving much slower. Airborne troops are away. I repeat, airborne troops are away. Oh, and he does hover. He does hover, and they they have repel lines. You gotta be freaking kidding me. The airborne troops are getting. Wait, wait, wait. What happens if they hit the uh, propellers? Oh my gosh, I'm so. This is amazing. Look at this. They're getting shot down in the air. We've got the Spetsnaz commandos repelling down. To support this, oh my god, what's gonna happen with the propellers? I'm thinking they might go through it, but if they don't, what's gonna happen? Oh my god, no! Okay, okay, okay. What? They even go through it? Okay, but you know what? That could be worked on in the future, but look at this. Airborne commandos and Spetsnaz commandos right here. Oh, the tank is aiming up and firing at the guys in the sky. This guy just got hit by a tank round. A high explosive tank round to the face! Oh man, the Spetsnaz landed earlier. Oh wow, and they're all on top of each other. They're still trying to figure out what to do. Uh, I, I think you have to give them maybe commands, maybe orders, but like, is this not glorious? And then the helicopter's just like, screw it guys, we're out of here. Now what if you could add chopper door gunners? All right, all these guys are on the ground. Oh man, these Spetsnaz are definitely outnumbered. The airborne rangers are behind the defenses of the red guys. The Spetsnaz are actually getting just wally mocked. I don't even know if that means anything, but in this case, it means you got mocked by Wallies. And the Wallies be in the airborne troops. Oh, Red is completely surrounded. So maybe these helicopters aren't like the best thing to do. And look at. Uh, uh, oh, this is AI. AI pathfinding. Now, does anyone have RPGs? Are they even going to be able to take down this tank? I don't think we gave them any tanks. I mean, any RPGs. So they could actually lose this skirmish. Unless it has hit points and it can go down by machine gun fire, but they're, they're not firing. They're just, wait, wait, wait. Open fire on the tank, small arms fire only. And the guy on the top's like, blah, 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 blah. oh, these poor guys. If, if, what happens? What happens here? Oh, this tank could, this tank could individually win this skirmish. Blue, despite superior tactics, clearly knowing that the Spetsnaz were coming. Look, the helicopter's out here. Where's the plane? Is the plane still chilling? Where's the plane? The plane... See, I, I... Oh. Maybe the helicopter just flies really slow. Well, this is pretty sweet. We have so much we can do that, now that um, airborne parachutes have been added to Ancient Warfare 3. And... Oh, man. I just gotta say... The name is almost not fitting anymore. It's not really Ancient Warfare. It's now, like, modern. Oh my gosh, this tank is chewing them up. Okay, you know what we need? Here we go. I got it. I got it. We gotta go up here, and we gotta go to whatever units we have. They were AP somethings that have a bunch in here, right? We need to have... We need RPGs. Heavily armored. And what if we actually add a helicopter as well? CH-53. Alright, this guy's gonna be interesting. His drop location is gonna be right on the enemy tank. Actually, like, right behind it. Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> RPG! <laughs> A crack team of tank killers. Alright. 
So the tank killers are flying in, the airborne rangers are going, the Spetsnaz soldiers are here. And we all saw what happens to them. What is- what he just- Did they just fire- Oh my god, did they get, get taken out by an RPG? What the heck just happened? I think the RPGs fired at something else from inside. <laughs> this is- This is an absolute disaster. I don't know what just happened, but it was amazing. And the tank is moving now? No, the tank took it out! The tank took down the helicopter! That's what happened. The tank just destroyed this helicopter. There's the Spetsnaz, there's the Airborne Rangers. Uh, I think I might need to pick a dude that has an RPG. Look, these guys are actually getting taken down. How are these guys gonna take out the tank? Does anyone have RPGs? They're taking down the entrenched red soldiers here. Oh my god, look at this. Isn't this just glorious? Isn't this just glorious? This is literally the... most grandiose, I think, like, Battlefield Sandbox game. In terms of, like, what you can do. All it needs is a little AI updates and a little, like, animation updates for the soldiers to make them more dynamic. And you've got, like, one of the best games. I've said it before, man. If they had the dynamism for their characters, like Ravenfield does, or the physics as well, like that. If there was fit like tabs kind of physics, maybe more realistic, you would have seen people and weapons and armor go everywhere. Wait, 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 wait. There's RPGs. All right, we, we had to back up. We got to take out this tank. Oh, we got one guy down. All right, I've got three RPGs. We have we are a crack team of commandos. Wait, what about, can I spawn in and be the dude? How is that thing not destroyed? I need your RPG, son. You are a brave man. All right, I picked up his RPG. It's got one round. Was it enough? It's not enough. We've got plenty of RPGs now, though. I'm, I'm shocked at, like, what happened here. Charge! Gentlemen, never give up. All right, do we have any RPGs in this mess? I'm not seeing any RPGs, guys. I'm seeing bolt-action rifles in here. Look at these guys just getting taken down, man. There's no heavy weaponry to speak of, I dare say. We don't have enough to take out this tank. Alright, guys. Welcome back to Ancient Warfare 3. We've got helicopters. We've got planes. We've got transport helicopters and planes that can repel soldiers down or drop them via parachutes just like Ravenfield. This is amazing. What battles, what custom units should we do next? Let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next video.